it's possible, right? So we are listening through this microphone. And I do have here the FLIR software on here. Connect my FLIR camera. And the problem we always have is that the FLIR camera is out of battery. And you see this here. So because the camera is always out of battery, I did um, do this modification here. Yeah, now it's working. Just give it a second. There it is. So I can now see the FLIR image for what I see here. But this is super heavy and not really feasible to run around with. So that's why I ordered a new um, battery for this, right? So right now I'm running this with the 18650. And I really didn't have to charge it in the month it took to get the other battery, the original battery for this. Not the original, because Fleur doesn't give you a battery. Fleur abandoned you. But this other company here, I can put a link underneath, has this battery and I ordered it and now it's there. So I'm going to show you how I install this and how I did here my little special here. Okay. To turn my phone off, put the phone to the side, and um, we do have to disconnect this again. And uh, let's go and see how we can do this. So I have to undo what I did in here, right? So I'm going to have to disconnect power from this battery. Here, on the ground here. So what I did here was that I hot glued this battery on here. And I don't know how I can undo this. So probably with uh no oh, there we go, see? With a hot air gun maybe I could do this. I don't know if I get this off so easy. No, yeah, I do. See it didn't. It lasted for a long time. Like, as I said, like, I'm walking around with this for a month now. The battery probably came straight from China. So, there we are. You know, this is all clean again. Now, I just have to reopen it. I drilled a hole in here, in the back, to get those wires through. But I can uh, close this hole again with some silicone. Now, here is those little caps on the end, so you can just pull those off with your fingernail. Oops! Don't lose them. So here's one. There's another one. As you can see there. See that? And then we need to go in there to unscrew those two little ones. I do not know. Is it a T5? Yes. It's a Torque 5. T5. That's what you need to unscrew Screws. Here's the one. They are back here in the back. And there we have the other one. There's the second one. Okay. And now we can really get this apart here. Yeah? Like this. Oop, there goes this. And then we can take this cover off here. Yeah? See that? Like that. And then we have down here, on the bottom, there's the connector. And as you can see here in my special um, thing I did for this battery, I used the battery management board from the old battery and the original plug to plug in here to handle this. And now I just have to go in there to unplug and we did here let me take this form out this form is needed to be glued onto the new battery and then we need to go here and pull a little and then lift this battery up like this there we have it disconnected 
And then we need to connect the new battery here onto this plug. Okay. So this is the box with the new battery. Cameron Zeno. I had I used this brand before and very good. I can only recommend it. That's how this looks like. Alright. Warranty text on it. And uh, yeah, let's open it up. I don't know how. <coughs> Probably you have to open it here. Oops. See, I'm not good at opening stuff. I don't want to pull on this in. Is this here like a. There, breaking the seal open. There we go, and we can pull this out. Look at that. There's the battery taped on here. Test caution. Okay, then. Look at this. Now, this is a very fresh battery. Whenever you order there, they just make it. There's a light coming on here, the blinking light. I don't know if this is good or bad. Nope, oh, that worked. Wow. Okay, so now this goes on here so that the battery doesn't push on there. And then the battery is laying in here. Like this, right? In here, like this. Goes in here. The cable goes down here. Push this over. Like this. I have to be very careful. There, like this. You see that? there and then this goes over here like this you see that now in my case now I have this hole in here what I will close with appropriate appropriate yeah I turned it on by accident again it's off yeah um, I will use appropriate glue here to close this again here. Okay. What glue will do it? So let's put the screws back in here. Oh. Sorry about not being on camera sometimes here. There's one in here. And then the other one goes in here. Yeah. Right there. You saw that was locked tight in there, right? There it is. This one closing. And then I'm gonna go in here quick. There's one cap. And here the other. You have to be careful inserting this. You don't want to break those little little things off. There we go. And now it's as good as original. 
Yeah, what we need now is we need to see if we can charge it. We need to charge cable. You see, it's on again here. Let me see if it's charging. It should put a charge picture on here. I don't know how the charge thing looks like the the charge. I think this light comes on to charge. There, and you plug it in. You saw. Then the red light comes on. That means it's charging, and um, it's done charging when the light goes off. Okay, that's one thing we have here. Now, I want to try on my phone and plug this in to see if we can see here in the in the software how much battery is in here. You know the battery. Here we have to push one more button. It has to blink green. Now it's blinking green, and then it should uh, show up here. Sorry about this. There it is, green here. Okay, everything green. And then we can look at the floor. One connected. See, 65% battery. That's how it was delivered. And all we need to do now is to charge. I think if I plug this in like this, it should show charging up there. Yeah, you can tell already. It's gone up to 71%, and it shows it's charging. So the charge is working, and the camera still works. Yeah, battery charging, 71% as a pop-up message. Now we just have to charge it to 100% to see if all that works good. And uh, so, yeah, that concludes our video here. So that's how easy it was to replace this battery. And I'm going to put in the description here this battery, this number from Cameron Zeno. That is the company where I got this from. I ordered it. I think this is my serial number of my battery, but um, that is the number of the battery, the name you need here to replace it. And you saw how easy it was working. Thank you much for watching, and I'm going to see you in my next video.